Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Patience. To my existing subscribers, welcome back. If this is your first time here, be sure to click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can continue to indulge in the Hot Bella experience. In today's video, I am going to be creating this beautiful purple Easter look using another palette from Colored Rain. And this is the OG palette from Colored Rain, and this is the Queen of Hearts palette. This palette is by no means a new palette. It has been out on the market for quite some time, but this is my first time using it. So you guys have heard me talk about how I want to be a smarter consumer. So I've been going through all of my eyeshadow palettes, all the palettes I have in my collection, and I discovered not only did I have the Safari palette, which I did the video on, just recently, but I also have the Colored Rain and I also have the Cheers to the Beauty palette as well. So these are beautiful and gorgeous palettes. They are typical of the types of eyeshadow palettes or eye products that Colored Rain is releasing these days. So I decided to go ahead and create this look today. I also use this colorful top as my inspiration for this look. This is a top that was a gift from my mother-in-law. So when I saw this top, I was like, Okay, this is Queen of Hearts. This is definitely a Queen of Hearts top. So I use this top as my inspiration today for creating this look. I also want to mention that I am wearing some custom jewelry from By Anike. You guys have seen me wear some other products that come from By Anike, and those are the turbans. So in several of my videos, when I'm going through the demo or the get ready portion of the video, I'm wearing a turban or a crown uh, on my head and the fabric of those turbans are made of very bright and beautiful colors. They can be dressed up, they can be dressed down, they are of superb quality and they are from Bionike.com. So she is expanding her creative vision and now she is doing custom jewelry. So this is absolutely gorgeous. This is a bracelet and ring set. And I will leave all of the information to her website in the description box below, just in case you're interested in checking out some of her headpieces, her turbans. She also has something that's called a bendy band. It's really original. You'll be able to check that out on her website as well. But this jewelry is gorgeous. Look at this, absolutely gorgeous. So let's go ahead and get into this look. My face has been moisturized and I'm using the No Problem Primer to prime my face and the P. Louise eyeshadow base to prep my eyelids. And I'm using the first shade out of the Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette and that is the shade Your Majesty. I'm using that as my brow bone highlight. And I'm using the shade Royal Prerogative as my transition shade. And I'm using the shade Ladyship in my crease area. And I'm going back into the shade Royal Prerogative once again to blend out any harsh lines that I may have at this point. I'm using the shade Duchess to deepen up the outer V just a little bit. Okay. 
I'm using the cut crease canvas from Makeup Revolution to carve out my lids. And I'm using the purple shimmery shade out of the Queen of Hearts palette. This shade is called Queen Mother. And I'm using this right on top of where I have carved out my lid. Very pretty. I'm using Noble Woman to blend or to marry the shades that I have on my lids together. I'm now going back into the shade Ladyship once again and I'm using a smaller blending brush and I'm going to add a little bit more definition into my crease area. I'm moving on to the complexion and I've done my color correcting and I'm going to be using a foundation from Cover FX. This is the Natural Finish Oil Free Foundation and I'm in the shade G90. I'm also going to be using the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in Warm Sand and I'll use this product to conceal under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, Cupid's bow, all the normal places that you would apply concealer. And I'm using the Fenty Setting Powder in the shade Banana to set all of the areas where I have applied the concealer. I'm doing some cream contouring and I'm using the Tarte Clay Foundation Stick. This is in Rich Honey. And I'm using another of the Fenty Setting Powders. This is in the color Honey and I'm using this to set my entire face. And I'm using some of the Fenty Bronzer. This is in the shade Coconati. And I'm going to use this bronzer just to warm up my face just a little bit. And I'm using the shade Abbey from the Saharan Blush Volume 1 palette from Juvia's Place. I'll be using this as my blush. And I'm using my beauty sponge just to soften up that blush just a little bit. I'm using the Diamond Glow Powder from Artist Couture. This is in the color Purple Dream. This is an item that came in my BoxyCharm box. And I'm using this to add some glow to my cheekbones. I'm also using a bit of this highlighter down the bridge of my nose and on my Cupid's bow. I'm going back to the Queen of Hearts palette once again and I'm using the shades Dethrone and Noble Woman to smoke out my waterline.
and I'm going to use Your Majesty once again, and I'm going to use this in my tear duct area. It is time for lips, and I'm using a liquid lipstick from MAC. This is the color Potomized. I love the color and the formula of this liquid lipstick from MAC. And this look is done. I love this palette from Colored Rain. I am so glad that I dug through my eyeshadow collection and I found it. I will definitely be using this palette again. I like the shade Abbey from the Saharan Blush Volume 1 from Juvia's Place. Very pretty. And this bracelet set from Bionique, the ring, the bracelet, it's breathtaking, it's unique, it's stunning, it is gorgeous. This is my third time using the new bronzer from Fenty in the shade Coconutty, and I love the way it warms up my face. Very pretty. And I want to say thank you to my mother-in-law once again for giving me this beautiful top. It was my inspiration for this look today. So thanks again, Miss Lorraine. I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.